All right, well, as we've been talking about, the weather is dangerous for lots of folks, particularly of concern to us, our <laughs> pregnant women That's and true. babies. That's if you're expecting. Uh, concerned about falling. That's what my biggest concern is. I remember last year slipping. I was so afraid of that, just tiptoeing my way around. Yeah, keeping the boots on throughout the and day. And with the whiteout conditions, it's hard to see where you're going, so you got to take it slow. Yes. And we've also been talking. <laughs> you're welcome. We've also been talking about if you go in labor. You said you have a few friends who are due at any moment. Any day, two of my friends would go into labor. Imagine trying to get through these roadways get to the hospital. I mean, it would even be difficult for an ambulance to get to your house. Right, and that's why they're saying if you start to feel labor pains, call ahead of time. Don't wait like you normally would. They say to right. wait it out as long as you can at home. Don't, don't do that in this case. How long it's going to take to get to the hospital, right? Exactly. So make sure that you call in advance and stock up on food that's high in protein and fat so that you know you have all that situated. And of course, if you have a baby, make sure you have all the baby food mm -hmm. stocked up that you need. And if you have to go to a shelter, obviously prepared, make sure right? you have a good place for the baby to sleep, enough diapers, that kind of stuff. Take it easy. Bottom line, Bottom right? line, take it easy. We've got your back, though, Teresa. We're going to watch out for you. Make oh, sure thanks, you don't Allie. walk alone. <laughs> That's very as good. As you should with any pregnant people, you know. Give them an extra extra assistance during the storm. There you go. All as, right. they, as they say, you're being safe for two. It's true, it's, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Our future news member in here. That's right. <laughs>